Hello, I'm Rear Admiral Brent Scott, Chief of Chaplains. Birthdays are a time of reflection. For the last 243 years, chaplains have provided religious ministry in the sea services. Chaplains have sailed to serve our nation's treasured sailors, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen. We've served in times of peace and during the dark days of war. Side-by-side, -side, religious ministry teams have brought the presence of God into the struggles our people face to include combat operations. This year, as we focus religious ministry at and from the sea, we reflect on that heritage. We remember the legacy of those who demonstrated what right looks like so that when we face the next fight alongside those who go down to the sea, we get it right. The Navy saw its heaviest losses during World War II where battles raged in the Pacific region. The mission of the Navy and Marine Corps was exhaustive over three years of continual combat at and from the sea. Chaplains prepared and focused ministry in every domain in support of combat and aimed at responding to the effects of war upon body, mind, and spirit. Amphibious landings on the beaches of Iwo Jima where Marines suffered severe casualties crossing high slopes of black volcanic ash in the fight is only one of many examples. Chaplain E. Gage Hoteling was there to offer solemn rites of burial for an inordinate number of casualties. Chaplain John Galbraith was there to care for the injured up and down the black sand beaches. Third, fourth, and fifth Marine Division chaplains provided worship services across Iwo Jima until the last day of battle when a chaplain provided the sacraments on Easter Sunday. Today, Marines are preparing to fight from the sea and with religious ministry teams embedded to bring hope in the darkest of circumstances. From the attack on Pearl Harbor to the signing of the Japanese surrender aboard the USS Missouri, over 600 major vessels were sunk. Out of such devastation, lessons emerge that guide us in our support for tonight's fight. We should recalibrate as a chaplain corps to render ministry in the worst of days rather than the best of days. Over 2,800 reserve chaplains were called into the fight of World War II. Under attack, fires raging, bombs, rockets and ammunition exploding all around, chaplains were there to give hope to the injured sailors and Marines exposed to fire, smoke, and gas fumes. The USS Indianapolis sunk after being torpedoed by a Japanese submarine. Witnesses say that Chaplain Michael Conway ministered sailors in shark-infested waters for three days, going from one small group to another praying until he slipped away into the sea. It's those stories that inspire us today. Whether active or reserve, RMTs will require the right instincts, the most agile of deck plate support, and the willingness to touch humanity with a purpose greater than any one of us alone. Now we look to the future, leaning forward with agility and adaptability, standing ready to deliver responsive religious ministry in combat and crisis we will be relevant in every phase of operations and be the Chaplain Corps the Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard need. As we gather around the world to celebrate our legacy forged by the sea, we also commit ourselves to the men and women of the sea services and their families. Happy birthday. <laughs>